Police say DNA led them to a sexual assault suspect who was not legally in this country. And new tonight at 10, we have learned the suspect was stopped at the border multiple times. 34-year-old Jose Carranza Rubio is accused of grabbing a woman near a gasoline station in Austin at I-35 in St. John's and raping her in a wooded area behind the gas station. Carranza Rubio is already in federal prison serving his time for illegal entry into the U.S. He's expected release, release date is coming up next month. KXA investigator Kevin Schwaller is digging deeper tonight into the suspect's history along the border to see how he slipped through the system. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection spokesperson says agents have either stopped or taken Jose Carranza Rubio into custody five times over the past 10 years. He's also been deported to Honduras before. 200 miles from Austin on the Texas-Mexico border. This is the area a U.S. Customs and Border Protection spokesperson says agents last arrested 34-year-old Jose Carranza Rubio for crossing into the U.S. illegally. They found him sleeping in the brush near the Rio Grande. Investigators didn't know it yet, but police would later name Carranza Rubio as a suspect in an Austin sexual assault case. What happened next is not as clear. We're still trying to figure out what Carranza Rubio was doing in the three months between the reported sexual assault here in this area and his arrest near the border. Court documents state the sexual assault in Austin happened on May 24th. In the next few months, police never issue a news release to alert the public. KXAN News found federal court records showing authorities then picked up Carranza Rubio near Eagle Pass, Texas on August 25th. The documents state the suspect is a Honduran national and crossed the border illegally through Mexico and over the Rio Grande. Then, in November, Austin police get a DNA match from the victim's rape kit to a federal offender. Based on local documents, it's another month before the FBI confirms that match is for Carranza Rubio, who is in a federal prison in western Texas. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. We've asked Austin police about why it took more than five months for a DNA match, and there was any attempt to tell the public about the assault. They did not answer our questions today. Carranza Rubio's attorney in the August case did not return our calls either. Individuals like Carranza Rubio are an example of just one of the many problems along the Texas-Mexico border. In 2015 alone, there have been more than 186,000 apprehensions. More than 145,000 of them were from some other country than Mexico.